Google Quantum Lab claims images from James Webb, James Webb being JWST, NASA's uh, like golden satellite, uh, reveals signs of an invisible dimension. All right, let's jump into it. Let's see where this takes us. It sounds absolutely intriguing. I'm just going to be honest here. Has the James Webb Telescope just opened the door to a new dimension? Let's find That's out. That's exactly what Google Quantum Lab claims. It's a bold thesis, but newly evaluated data shows real signs of an invisible dimension. Okay. In collaboration with Google's Another Quantum dimension? Research Department, a team of physicists has reached deep into the infrared spectrum of Webb's data for patterns that cannot be explained by classical okay. physical models. Infrared. The results are strange light diffractions and repeated signatures that may point to something beyond our three-dimensional space. The researchers refer okay, so we're getting into our string theory. Refer to the newly discovered data as anomalies that do not occur by chance. They follow fascinating mathematical patterns that have long been predicted in string theory. Yeah. This theory assumes that our reality consists of more than the three known spatial dimensions. Guys, really quick, I just want to go ahead and uh, kind of point something out to you guys. Um, for, so for those of you who have no idea what string theory is, I'll try to break it down as like simple as possible here. Um, like think about all of the elementary particles, like uh, referring to um, protons, electrons, quarks, etc. Uh, if we were to think about them in your head, you think if you were to get down to magnification level, they'll just basically be like little dots, right? String theory basically postulates that uh, they're they're not, right? Like if you, if you go even further down, let's say you'll start to realize that they're vibrating strings. Uh, and each uh, singular elementary particle in itself is nothing more than a vibrating string. And it basically vibrates at a different frequency. Um, so that's basically what it is, guys. Let's, let's, uh, let's continue. And another dimension of time, some of which are said to be rolled up or hidden. Until now, the theory was considered unproven. But what if we are it now is? seeing these dimensions for the first time? or at least observing their effects. Okay. Urgent questions need to be answered. Could the discoveries really be evidence of another dimension? And would this make part of string theory empirically tangible or even proven mm. for the first time? Okay. Perhaps. Skeptics- Guys, we can't prove string theory. We can definitely prove it, I would say, indirectly, right? Based off of you know how useful, let's say it is in like advanced mathematics and uh, quantum field theory, quantum gravity, et cetera, right? I mean, it, in those fields, I mean, yeah, you're using it. So I think you have the ability to definitely uh, prove its existence indirectly, but not actually directly. Guys. Argue that there could be something completely different behind the data. It could be a new physical phenomenon, an error in the instrumentation, okay. or a fundamental gap in our understanding of the world. That could be. Additional dimensions. Nothing has been proven yet. Okay. The scientific world is electrified. Several teams around the world are currently trying to repeat the analysis independently and with their own algorithms to verify Google's results. This approach is standard in science. Results must be confirmed multiple times by independent research teams Absolutely. before they are accepted as scientifically probable. Right. Furthermore, supplementary and targeted observations with the Webb telescope and other ground-based telescopes are planned to confirm or refute the strange data. What is certain at present is that the boundaries of what we thought we knew about space, time, and reality have been shaken. However, what exactly lies behind the mysterious web signatures will only become clear in the coming months. Evidence of a hidden world, the web data, and the shocking results. Guys, I do think that if you do want to actually like prove the concept of string theory along with proving uh, that there is like another dimension example string theory basically dictates that there's like 10 to the 500th let's say uh actual dimensions available within reach type of thing we don't we can't encounter them because we're living within uh hours let's say how can we see something that doesn't make sense to us visually right but i do think that if you do monitor like dark energy specifically like the, the, the behavior of dark energy you probably could kind of also prove uh string theory uh indirectly um also look at the high energy cosmic wave rays guys uh another thing okay um, you can definitely, I think, indirectly prove it if that was an actual like option for us. It's incredible what our science can now it's achieve just with thinking. just a few measurements. The evidence of portals to other dimensions of our reality 
was not obtained using conventional methods. At the center of the current speculation is a novel form of data analysis developed in collaboration with Google Quantum AI Lab. Quantum optimized algorithms were used to re-examine James Webb data from the ABLE 2744 Galaxy Cluster. The okay. process combines classic data processing with quantum mechanical principles to identify deeper patterns that cannot be detected by conventional systems because they are too complex or too subtle. Unlike conventional computers, which process information in binary form, quantum computers use qubits. A binary system uses a code consisting of zeros and ones, which represents all conceivable results. Yeah, common typical sequences. binary. The system selects either a zero or a one for each expression. Qubits are zeros and ones at the same time and do not have to express themselves in complicated code chains. This makes them thousands of times faster and right. able to represent complex results that the classic binary system could not express. This is made possible by the quantum peculiarities of superposition and entanglement. Qubits quantum analyze entanglement. a multitude of possible states simultaneously and are particularly useful in searching for non-linear patterns in huge astronomical data sets. The researchers use this technology to filter out subtle, repeating patterns of light and structure from the JWST's enormous volume of data that were previously undetectable. What the AI discovered was shocking. The mathematical signatures isolated from the data bore a striking resemblance to predictions from string theory. Particularly exciting were geometrically ordered structures that extended across different regions of the galaxy cluster and were repeated in several independent fields of observation. Huh. These anomalies thus exhibited a regularity that cannot be explained by classical gravitational lensing effects or known galactic dynamics. The research group's initial interpretation was that these could be the effects of additional spatial dimensions. String theory is currently one of the only candidates that can combine the quantum world with classical physics as a theory of everything. It assumes that the universe consists oh, not the only of, of three everything. spatial dimensions plus time, but of a total 10 to 12 dimensions. Several of these are said to be extremely small, rolled up, or compacted in such a way that we can hardly detect them with our conventional means, and we cannot see them in our macroscopic everyday lives. Yeah, guys, absolutely. When I say this here, AI is going to change how we view every single thing on Earth, guys. I'm telling you, like, give AI the data, and then AI will absolutely break it down in a way that um, will absolutely remove the uh, the patterns, let's say, and find find the odd man out. I would definitely say if you want to find uh, planets like uh, you know that are that are in, like, say, the Goldilocks zone of their their star system, right, their parent star, uh, I do think that uh, you know, give it to AI. AI got it. Guess all right. Yet, these extra dimensions and unknown worlds are everywhere and therefore also part of your life. Renowned physicist Lisa Randall of Harvard University added an interesting nuance to these shocking discoveries. In some models, these dimensions are not completely closed off, but could become permeable in certain energetic or cosmological states. Okay. The consequence of this consideration would be that the matter visible and familiar to us remains trapped within our 3D world, while gravity and other fundamental forces can escape into higher dimensions and exert their influence there. This would also explain why gravity... Yeah, I, can de I definitely would back the concept of gravity being able to kind of move between dimensions. Their dimensions ...and exert their influence there. This would also explain why gravity is so much weaker than other forces of nature. And this idea could even influence the existence of dark matter or dark energy. Quantum-based analysis showed that certain light patterns and frequency distortions repeated systematically across multiple galaxy clusters. These so-called quantum signatures do not occur chaotically, but follow mathematical orders known from theories of extra-dimensional geometry. Certain energy patterns and light delays can only be explained if one assumes that light has moved through a medium that has multidimensional properties. This brings us back to the dimensions of string theory, or models that assume that there are folds in space-time. Initial supplementary simulations with AI-supported models confirm that such signatures would indeed be typical of interactions with higher-dimensional spatial structures. The next steps include peer reviews, independent data analyses by research teams at MIT, Princeton, and CERN, 
and plan follow-up observations with JWST to clarify. Have we really peered through the veil of additional dimensions for the first time? Was it all a mistake? Alternative explanations are also shocking. All right, let's go. The scientific community did not hesitate to immediately verify the results of Google's AI analysis of course in every they did. respect and yeah, to sure. find alternative explanations. Like, bro, listen, you gave them an option, right? Basically, what you, what you did there is you said, hey, listen, I think we have the ability to prove string theory. Of course, they then immediately checked it, bro. Uh, that was the number one thing they did, guys. All right, within 10 minutes, there were a thousand plus scientists, physicists, like astrophysicists, all in a room together, arguing. Okay, peer reviewing the peer review. ...for the strange light patterns. Not all researchers are convinced that there is only one explanation for the light patterns and quantum signatures. An obvious possibility would, of course, be an error in the system. Telescopes such as JWST are highly complex precision instruments, right. but like all other machines or technical equipment, they are not infallible. Errors in the sensors, calibration deviations, or data interference from cosmic radiation could have created patterns that are not real at all, in which case we would be dealing with results that arise from processing or interpretation. The use of new quantum algorithms could also lead to overinterpretation if random fluctuations are misinterpreted as structured signatures. The new technology is still being tested, and quantum computers and AI-based analyses are prone to errors. But what if the signatures are real and still have nothing to do with extra-dimensional spaces? In quantum physics, there are many peculiarities and effects that are still poorly understood and do not fit into our conventional understanding of space-time. Quantum effects such as non-locality, spooky action at a distance, or quantized gravity could also have produced the light patterns. A third fascinating possibility I back the concept of uh, quantized gravity uh, producing light patterns. I back that. Is that we are on the verge of discovering something completely new. I mean, Perhaps AI these is, are is going to do that for physical us. physical phenomena. It would not be the first time that an inexplicable effect has led to the discovery of a new force. Right. Cosmic background radiation was also once discovered through a similarly bizarre and inexplicable measurement result. What is already certain is that Google has discovered more than just a mathematical curiosity in Webb's data. Such patterns do not appear without reason. String theory also works in your world. Can you imagine that you are feeling strings right now, controlling them and thus participating in creation? String theory is more than just a theory or a thought experiment for physicists. It's an attempt to reduce everything absolutely everything right. that exists to, to its a single minimum. building block. Yeah. Tiny, vibrating strands of energy. These cosmic strands are unimaginably small by a factor of 10 to the negative 35 meters. And yet they are supposed to explain the nature of all particles, all forces, and all space-time. If this is the case, then you too are made up of these vibrating strings, as is everything you can see at this moment. Every single your thing. Your body, right. your thoughts, the light on your skin, the sound of my voice, all of this could be an expression of different vibration modes of the microscopic strings. This brings us to a fascinating question. Macro, not micro, bro. Can, can we go deeper than, 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 than micro? Well, no, can we go deeper than micro? What if our daily experiences interfere with this structure without us noticing or knowing? Mm -hmm. Simply realizing that you are influencing strings at this very moment could change your life forever. Perhaps you will become more conscious of your influences and vibrate your strings with more power and purpose. Or you Bars. may decide to send one or two messages into invisible dimensions. Well played. Maybe you will receive an answer from there. There are several models that bridge the gap between physics and philosophy. I definitely did not expect any, any, any philosophy at the end here, guys. I, did, I didn't. But respect. And assume that our consciousness Live your is life not like only it's, a consequence like it has of meaning. this structure, but interacts with it. In quantum physics, the observer effect is normal. Mm -hmm. The way a system is measured or seen influences its state. This would make it normal for our thoughts, feelings, and decisions to generate tiny resonances in these hidden spaces. Physically, this is difficult to grasp. However, some theories, such as the holographic principles or the so-called brain cosmology, actually assume that our universe is located on a kind of membrane or brain that floats through a higher space, the bulk. 
Everything we experience could be the projection of a deeper information field, and our actions could create small waves in it. Imagine that every thought is like a light breeze blowing across a stretched network of strings. Some of these movements are meaningless. Others mm -hmm. could create resonances in certain constellations. These amplifications, which propagate through layers, would then have far-reaching influences. Perhaps phenomena such as intuitive knowledge, synchronicities, or inexplicable creative breakthroughs such as flashes of inspiration or sudden insights are the results of resonances with other dimensions. Of course, from a scientific point of view, what this if? remains pure speculation. It is it's nothing String but that. String theory has not yet been confirmed experimentally. Oh, God. I like this. Send me more. I love science. I love science. I love history. And I love mathematics, guys. Uh, you know, any type of, like, theoretical physics physics guys i love that i love black hole theory if you want to even get into like the theoretical white hole theory let's do that i want to talk about it All right but no one ever wants to talk about these things with me guys right but either way listen the video is great uh i'm not sure that they um that we still have any information on what's called you know a, a quote-unquote invisible dimension um but again you know i like the uh, ability for for them to be teaching at the very least what the what string theory actually is i like that all right let's do that we're here for that uh, but all right, listen uh, let me know in the comments for the next thing i should be checking out and you guys uh all have an absolutely amazing day if you guys are new here please like and subscribe again the name of the channel the video came from was simply space mm -hmm.